You know, I don't get asked very many questions on this channel, but there is one question that I am asked. And it's not by people in the comments or stuff like that, but you know, just people outside of the comments as well. And that's how do I write music, or how do I come up with ideas to write music? So, so here you go. And this isn't some troll, like, you know, like, oh, I get a paper <laughs> and a pen and I start writing. No, there is actually a couple of things that can trigger writing abilities, so I'm going to share those with you today. Enjoy! Now one of those techniques is what I like to call the word or phrase inspiration. Um, and that's when you see a word or phrase and you're like, damn, that's poetic. Damn, that is deep. Holy gosh golly, I love that phrase. You know, one of those things that you say a lot. Um, and then you write an entire song out of it. So I will be having examples. And I will put the song right there. Not really. Maybe. I don't know. That wouldn't make sense. But if, for my example, I would have to say this will be called live. And I'll put that link in the description because I just uploaded it like two seconds ago. And, uh, yeah. You know, I heard, I, you know, came up with the phrase, this hell we call life. Um, because, you know, I, I wanted to write a song about, uh, about that sort of thing, you know, going through a difficult time, you know, and stuff like that. And I just decided, you know, this hell we call life sounds cool. And, um, I mean, people call me Satan anyways, so, I mean, it fits. Um, but yeah, I, I came up with the title first, and I wrote that song, um, based off the title, and that, that's, I don't do that a lot, usually, it's, it's a different way, but I'll explain that way in the next section. The random humming! Now, that's kind of weird, but humming around the house, so you'd be sitting there going like, that sounds a new next hit. <laughs> this is a humming thing, and that's, that's, usually after that it goes to me picking up my phone voice recorder and going, <laughs> And you know, so, some songs have been written like that. I really can't think of one right now. But I have a few, like, ideas in my phone that's just, <laughs> That's a legit idea. Don't steal it. It's mine. But yeah. It just happens, you know, with the humming technique. The taking inspiration off of literally anything. So, you know, like you'd be reading a book and be like, what if I wrote a song about this book? That would be great. And you write a story out of it, you know? I, or we can call it the story technique. You know, let's just punch that other technique out of there. Be gone, and then we'll have the story technique shining right there. Um, but yeah, there that's one of the techniques, you know. Um, a song I wrote called Work of Art is one of those techniques where um, I took inspiration from a song of Panics that was Ballad of Mona Lisa, and I was like, well, that's kind of cool. They took a piece of artwork. And, you know, went off that, and I was like, you know, I want to do something with art, you know, that sounds cool. So I did work of art. And, um, now that I look back on it, I realized I told the story of that game, I don't know what it's called, but it's where the painter's, like, getting body parts to rebuild the painting of his wife that he killed? Or something like, it's not that dark, but basically, you know, it's a painter who, you know, he's an artist who locked himself away from a world who once knew his name, and he paints to, you know, he stays to paint away the pain with every new mark he makes. That should tell the story, but still nobody gets it. So, there's one. Taking a life problem and making it your problem. That's a good one. Um, songs like False Reality, Fairy Tale, Simple Little Sounds, all three of those songs are, you know, problems in this world. False Reality is about, you know, 
us, you know, escaping the crappy world we've created by going on social media and acting like nothing's wrong. Simple Little Sounds is about bullying. You know, these simple little sounds, they don't want you around because, you know, you're different than everybody else. Fairy Tale is about, you know, it seems that we have this great world, except in this fairy tale there are no happy endings because life sucks. See, the crazy deep meanings that are behind songs that people still have no clue what they mean, so they just make things up. But yeah, you know, taking inspiration off of life problems. That's a good one. It's great. Do that. Love sucks. These things get their own freaking title because... Everybody writes love songs. At one point, everyone's gonna write a fucking love song. Even though, you know, it's like, well, love songs, and everyone's like, I don't write a love song. You know, like, or people are like, well, they're not considered love songs, they're considered tragic songs, because he left me. See, people make up excuses to be like, I don't write love songs. Now, if I write a love song, it's not about me, you know, because I've only been in one relationship, and that crap lasted four days. So, um, yeah. I just think of these scenarios, such as, you know, songs as, such as A Heart's Toll to Pay. You know, these songs that you seriously have no idea what I'm talking about, but you know, they're songs I've written. A Heart's Toll to Pay, and, um... Sweet Tragedy You Call a Melody. Um, Sweet Tragedy You Call a Melody is about cheating. You know, like a guy going to... They go to like a ball type freaking scenario and it's like, Oh, how I wish it was a masquerade so she couldn't see your stupid damn face. You know, type thing. Or like a heart's total pay. It's like, that night you took my heart away. I suggest you don't come back. Cause my heart has a total pay. Pay up, bitch. You know... That sort of thing. It's just a random love song you create when you're feeling moody. Or when you're in the mood for chocolate and your back really hurts. And, you know, you have to go to Walmart and buy girl crap! Sorry, I'm having personal issues right now. But back to your regularly paid programming. I mean, free programming. We're not totally, like, forcing you out of your money or anything like that. Last but not least, tell your story. If you have an experience in life, share it. You know, with music, you can't, you know, like, I'm so shy, I don't want to do this. I don't want to show my feelings. You kind of have to. If you're going to write your own songs, unless you want to write songs that I'm dead inside, oh shit, I just share personal information. Yeah, you can't be afraid to do that. No matter what you do, you're going to share something at least a little personal. So, yeah, for example, I wrote a song called Home is Where the Freaks Are, and uh, that is about my personal experience at a place called the Haunted Swamp, which barely even anybody who doesn't live in Idaho knows, knows about. If you don't live in Idaho, you probably don't know about it. <laughs> I could just said that instead of him. <laughs> but anyways, I worked in a haunted swamp, which is a haunted attraction in a swamp. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I worked in a place called The Freak Show, and I was a makeup artist slash scary person. And I would scream at people all day. It was pretty great. But, yeah, I wrote a song called Homeless with the Freak Star, and I kind of explained what went on if you went through the swamp. Like, you go in, you know, like, enjoy the show. It's best if you, you know, like, take it slow, take everything in, you know. Then where to hide, so enjoy the ride. Take a peek at what's inside. Now... Another thing with writing songs, I'm just gonna go into this, is you don't have to write poetry to write songs. You know, um, I know it kind of sounds like poetry, some songs, but like, if I read off one moment right now, or like, you know, if I, some songs, you know, like, Hearts, uh, Sweet Treasure You Call Melody, like, that would be poetry, you know, like, the music's gone, the voice is all wrong, singing the melody of a broken song you knew all along, that what you composed was wrong. The sweet tragedy you call a melody. See, like, that, some can be poetry. While others... Like, uh, one moment. That is all it takes. One moment. <laughs> you know, some are not poetry. 
You know, some are more like stories. You don't have to write poetry, is what I'm saying here. You really don't. Like, you could just write random phrases. Like, um, as you can see here, I have red colored pencil. You can't really see it. But it says, listen here, there would be no fear if these sounds went quiet for a while. In a world full of plainly white noise, we would all be at peace. See, you can write poetry or you can't. It's okay. You don't have to, you know. You don't have to. And there's going to be songs that you're gonna say, screw it, that sounded like crap. <laughs> and you're just gonna ditch them because, you know, that's all part of the process. You know, don't be too clingy and say, I don't want to throw it out. That's why I spent so long on that song. If it's shit, throw it out. Okay, I have two songs that I have thrown out in my entire writing of one and a half albums. Okay, I wrote a, I wrote a song, Chance, and I was absolutely in love with Chance. That sounds awkward, because I had a friend named Chance once. But it was a song about taking chances, not Chance. Yeah. Anyways. You know, it's like, could you sing a song? Could you dance a dance? Could you give the world another chance? Or, you know, would you turn your back away? And I was like, this is my piece of resistance. <laughs> you know, it could, my album could have been called Chance, because I wrote that when I was 12, around the time of I wrote One Moment. Um, but I threw it out because I was like, well, shit. <laughs> and then, um, Leaving Anyway was a song, well, was another love song that I created. And now, it's the tune of Work of Art, because I decided, screw it, let's take this happy love song and change it into this dark, depressing song about an artist. And don't judge yourself too harshly, is my last thing here. Okay, you, you know, all my songs are depressing and end in minor chords, but that's okay, because that's just my style. And you just have to find your audience, you know, if people don't like my songs, then go move on to the other artists! Jerk. It's my songs. It's what I do. Okay? And that's what I say. Don't take the hate too seriously. Do what you want. Make the songs what you want. And if you do covers, apply your style to it. Don't, you know, be everyone else. Unless you want to be everyone else. And well then, good for you. You know? Do your own thing. That is my thing. Alright, that is all. That is how I write songs, and do covers, and all that cool stuff. Bah!